The uh, Oregon Curriculum Network is one source for a lot of Python and related mathematics um, teaching. We teach the programming language Python in order to get into mathematics uh, in a deeper way, in a way that's going to help with future employment opportunities, and that includes at the university as a professor uh, of mathematics or whatever. I mean, employment is not a bad thing. So here we are looking at how you can put the vPython and idle windows side by side. The idle comes directly out of the box when you download the current python.org installation. Um, you should be able to use it any, anywhere TK can go, which is Windows and Linux and all those OS things. And one way I get around uh, the restart problems of idle and vPython together, they're designed to work together pretty well, but um, I've chosen a certain technique here of refreshing. Notice how when I create these cylinders over and over, just you know, immediately they're different. They're not all the same. And uh, that's because there must be some randomness going on somewhere. So we're going to have to go and look at the source code because you know, pretty pictures are nice. The tetrahedron, definitely. We're going to start with that in the polyhedron world. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, there's refreshing. And uh, the icosahedron, of course, um, you know, who could live without it? You know, viruses. So, hey, off we go uh, into source code. It's time to get away from the pretty pictures. We know that Python is going to serve us well in that regard. The mathematics is not just going to be lexical. We're going to really definitely be sort of in an art mode a lot of the time doing design work. But So we still need to import stuff. We still need to have polyhedra in sort of a lexical form, which is what we're looking at here. Any polyhedron, you can scale it, you can translate it, you know, you can, and then I have this odd method called the still, which um, takes the faces of a polyhedron and gets the unique edges back. And we'll look at the code for that in a little bit, but it's important that we store as faces, I have decided, uh, and as vertices. And I really stretch the defaults here on the, on the going into a, an it, you, uh, pass in the entire polyhedra as far as data, as far as vertices goes, right, and they pass in. But the topology is hardwired. The topology would be the faces, assuming the vertices make sense. I'm putting responsibility on the user there to pass some sensible vertices. But if you do that, you know, according to labeling, because I use a dictionary approach. Okay, so if you follow the labeling, you can get differently scaled or translated polyhedra. I haven't finished testing all that. If you look at this framework, um, you know, it's basically a way to draw polyhedra in vPython. Uh, you'll see that it's not done at the point of this video. In fact, I'm thinking to leave it this way because I've implemented it a million times and it's for students um, to have the fun of learning how to extend some code. So the cuboctahedron is just a pass. I'll take a pass on that. So we go forward here into the test code, and that's what you're going to get if you just execute this thing sort of as a run, run alone, a standalone. There you just went up to idles run, hit with the mouse, and there's my beginnings of a concentric hierarchy with the inscribed TED inside the duo TED. And I, ICASA is the VizToys um, thing that uh, pulls from, from this module. You know, I don't just do a standalone script when I import. I, you know, reach into a grab bag and pull out the things that I want. And both of this stuff, or all of these modules, are in turn sitting on a wrapper class where it has a draw method for vectors, uh, which uses the native cylinder in the vPython. And then I've got initializing edges with any two vectors. The vectors always tail originate at the origin in this model. And then the, the line segments that you want are out there, you know, connecting any two vector tips, which is what I call an edge. And then I've got these tests. And I notice at the bottom that I haven't followed the convention of making it self-runnable. You know, so you just throw this module at the interpreter directly and have it actually execute something. So I've decided to add that as a final feature to this particular model, particular module. 
I should say. And um, and notice I'm about to have some screen problems. Um, this is just because we fight these things, and I thought, you know, let's keep it a war story in a way. Um, I don't somehow have the spacing right somewhere. It's not going to run, and I go in and check the thing I've last done and see if I can fix it just quick and dirty, you know, get on with my life. But no, not that simple. So here's a technique that, you know, this is not the first time this has happened to a Python programmer. So what you do is you go into idle and you select all and it tells you this and then you go to this untabify thing where you make sure everything's spaced, there's no tab characters in there. You resave the thing and then you run it and lo and behold, a sine wave. Now uh, this, is, this is the built-in demo of the uh, uh, Stickworks, which I talk about elsewhere and have videos about, so we won't redo all that. So, wonderful. That's how we do it now. Looks